Who will take care of our children and teach them if all the teachers leave their work? If teachers continue to leave their jobs, we will lose our identity, our culture, and our traditions. It is not good to leave teaching for another job. It is not being responsible to this country. With the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991, the Central Asian Republic of Tajikistan was thrust into civil war. After nearly a decade of violence and a complete economic collapse, the country held peaceful elections in 1999. Situated between China and Afghanistan, Tajikistan remains the most fragile of the former Soviet countries. Tens of thousands lack access to proper housing, and more than half the population must survive on less than $2 per day. As a result, nearly half of the labor force work abroad. Many are choosing to leave permanently. I am thankful to God that I've never thought of leaving my job. Many others have left because of low wages. We have faced these same problems, but I never considered leaving. Ravshan Usanov is a well-regarded professor of philosophy at Kujan State University, one of the best universities in Tajikistan. He is a published author and a respected authority on the subject of nonviolence and philosophy. Over the past 15 years, Ravshan has seen more than 400 of his colleagues leave the university in search of better opportunities outside the country. I have wanted to become a teacher since I was a child. What I love most about teaching is sharing my knowledge with others. People become very grateful for this, and that is worth more than gold, because it is impossible to buy respect with money and gold. I like this very much. In an effort to help Kujan State keep professors like Ravshan, Habitat for Humanity Tajikistan has partnered with the university to provide permanent housing for teachers, professors, and their families. By renovating a long vacant and unfinished Soviet-era apartment complex, 52 families now have homes. Teachers of the university desperately needed homes, and we were able to partner with Habitat. They funded this project, and our teachers will repay the loan over the next 10 years. This benefited our university teachers very much by providing improved living conditions for their families. After years of instability, the Usanov family now has a permanent place to call home. We used to share an old, one-room apartment, so it was wonderful for us to get a three-bedroom apartment. My family was very happy when I told them. After moving into the apartment, our lives became easier. Our lives have totally changed. Habitat gives hope to the hearts of people. It gives hope for the future and improves the lives of people worldwide. Helping to change people's lives is what Habitat for Humanity does best. Since 1976, Habitat has provided housing solutions to more than two million people worldwide. In Tajikistan, Habitat is not only working with partner families to rehabilitate and build homes, we are also involved in disaster response, progressive microfinance programs, and providing water filters to families that do not have access to clean drinking water. These programs work to impact not only a single family, but entire communities. By partnering with families, other organizations, and local governments, Habitat for Humanity will serve more than 1,000 families each year in Tajikistan. Globally, Habitat will increase our efforts to serve more than 100,000 families annually by 2013.